Hello guys, welcome to, to your, your biology experiment done at home. So, first step here is we need to prepare the potato. So I've taken a potato, I've cut it into pieces, I've taken a glass of ice water, or cold water, and I'm going to mix this into the blender there. I mixed it together. Now, I don't know if I've put enough water or not enough water in. Um, I'd rather you put under the uh, at least amount of water rather than too much water, okay? So next thing I'm gonna do is blend it. Okay, so I've, I've blended it for about two minutes or so, and if you kind of look, that should be okay. It's about the right consistency. So now I'm going to, sorry, this is really rough, but what you get. Um, I'm going to filter it kind of using that part of the blender to um, into this cup. So you see I've, I've poured it into the cup and what I've done here is I've taken another cup with ice water and I'm just going to stick this in in the top just to kind of keep it to keep it cold. Okay um, so that was about one potato, some water, um, and we'll see if this works. Okay, so welcome back. So now I have the potato solution here. Remember, it's on ice to keep it cold. And at this point, the rest of your experiment should go pretty fast. So I've gotten my hydrogen peroxide here, okay? And I've gotten a small, tiny, um, I just want to adjust this. I should have thought about this before I did this. I have a, a tiny cup here, okay? And I have some tweezers. I have to double as my forceps. Now what you can't see here is I've taken this coffee filter, okay? Um, so you can see it's out here. And I've cut it into pieces, okay? So these pieces are about this size. Okay, I wouldn't make them much bigger than that. Um, and those, they can be kind of any shape you want. Square seems to work fine, but they should be roughly the same size. Ideally, if you have a hole punch, that's the best thing here, okay? So, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip this, oops, not into my coffee. I'm gonna dip this into my solution. I'm just gonna tap it on the edges a little bit, like that. And then, I'm gonna take it and put it in my solution. Now, ideally I have a stopwatch here too. My phone's being used as a stopwatch. But the moment I stick it in, I'm gonna start that stopwatch. So here we go. So I started the stopwatch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it took, it, I don't know if you could see that very well. It, it's, it sunk down and then came back up. So let me, Try that. I'll show you that again. Okay, so I'm going to wipe the tre tweezers. I'm going to take another one. So here it is. I've dipped it in the potato solution, wiped a little bit on the side, and I'm going to drop it in. Okay. And that one didn't seem to sink. Sorry. Try that one again. This will happen. So I'm going to try it again. So I'm going to dip the paper in, put it in the potato solution. I'm going to dip it in. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So you see it sunk and then went back up. That's what we're measuring. So the idea is this one is approximately 3% hydrogen peroxide. That's kind of what medical hydrogen peroxide is. That's going to be our strongest, um, our strongest solution. So you're gonna repeat what I just did 10 times, okay? So you're gonna have, you're gonna have 10 trials. Um, and you're gonna record the time it takes for that to sink to the bottom and then come back up to the top. Okay, you're gonna repeat that six times, 10 times, sorry, and then you're going to dilute this hydrogen peroxide. So this is a 3% solution. You're gonna dilute it into half, so a 1.5% solution. It's gonna be half hydrogen peroxide and half water. 
and you're gonna repeat it. And you're gonna do that all the way down to five trials, so you're about 0.2% hydrogen peroxide towards the end. Okay? And then that's what's gonna be your write up. You're gonna write up the procedure and you're gonna write up the data analysis section of it. Okay, and I'll talk about that in a different video. But hopefully this kind of gives you a rough idea of how it works. Now, depending on what equipment you have, it may not work exactly the same. That's fine. It's not so much the outcome on this. It's more about you writing a procedure and the steps involved in that and doing um, background research and so forth, okay? All right, thank you guys.